Hi everybody, I'm Craig, and this is my basement project. And I'm Natasha, and this is our basement project. Let's go. As you can see, this is an older poured concrete foundation in our basement. And over time, as the house has shifted and settled, we've developed this crack in the basement. Well, some water has started to leak in from the outside down into the basement. This happens over time with a poured concrete foundation. The house shifts, the basement settles. Yeah, no matter what the cause, you've got to keep an eye on it. If the crack's damp or worse, actually leaking groundwater into your basement, you've got to take care of it right away. So, we decided to get online. We? You decided to get online and take a look at how to fix the concrete crack. And then we decided, you decided to take a look at mybasementproject.com and take a look at the crack injection systems. It seemed easy enough to do and the kit came with everything we needed. And by doing it ourselves, we could save a whole lot of money. Now, there's an injection kit good for about 10 feet worth of damage. It's the Marflex One kit. So, I measured the crack here and ordered just what we needed to do the job. As you can see, this crack is about six and a half feet long and less than an eighth of an inch wide at its widest. It's perfect for injection. The one kit uses polyurethane foam to inject into the crack in our foundation and fill it completely. Unlike other methods of crack repair, polyurethane flows thoroughly into the crack, fills it, and bonds to the cement staying slightly flexible over time so that even if the foundation moves again, the polyurethane will move with it and keep the crack from happening again. Now let's show you how to fix the cracks in your basement. Now I've already laid this drop cloth here on the floor. Trust me, it will help tons with cleanup afterwards. Safety first. Now I'm gonna use this wire brush and Clean the, uh, you know, extra paint, the chips of the concrete here, about two inches on each side. Uh, get rid of all that effervescence or exfluorescent? Efflorescence. Yeah. If, yeah, anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning up all the dirt and uh, paint from the side of the crack here. Now we're going to use these little plastic surface ports. They look like this. Yeah, for proper installation of these surface ports, you have to make sure the wall is dry. Had it been damp, we would have had to wait a few days or use a hot air gun or a hair dryer or compressed air to dry the wall. Not my hair dryer. No, not your hair dryer. <laughs> now these surface ports go on here and they allow the injecting foam to flow into and fill the crack. Now I'll need to set several of these, and there's a simple formula to figure out how far apart they should be. They should be about as far apart as your basement wall is thick, and that's usually about eight inches. So I'll mark the spots on the wall now. Now I'm mixing the port adhesive and surface seal. It's a two-part epoxy that comes in one tube, and here's how to mix it. Put the surface seal port adhesive cartridge into the injection gun, like this. Remove the caps and squeeze out a small amount of the mixture onto a clean surface. The inside of the box lid works great. Now, use one of the putty knives and blend the two parts of the adhesive together until it's an even color. Now we're ready to attach the ports to the crack itself. Detach the cap before applying the adhesive. Put them close by so you can reach them later. Apply a small amount of adhesive around the port, but be careful not to block the port opening, or so much that it will block the crack under it. Place the first port on the crack at the point where it comes closest to the floor. Now I do this for each port up the crack until I have them all set. Watch.
Now I'm going to apply the surface seal. I'm applying it right over the bases of each port and making sure I get a good seal with the wall. It should end up about 1 8 of an inch thick and about 2 inches on each side of the crack. Do it all the way up just like this. Here's a note. If the crack you're repairing goes above the soil grade on the exterior, you'll have to add this surface seal to the outside wall too. When applying the surface seal around the surface ports, make sure you get a good, nice, thick coat. That will help keep the port sealed to the wall when you inject the polyurethane foam. Otherwise, the pressure could detach it from the wall. Now where are those port caps? We'll need to get them ready. Huh. Now, let's put the injection resin cartridge into the gun. Remove the plastic nut and pull this to remove the plastic seal. Next, place the mixing nozzle over the end of the cartridge and attach it with the plastic nut. Before you inject the first port, squeeze out all of the air and get the material to the end of the nozzle. Start from the bottom port and attach the injection gun like this and begin the low pressure injection of the urethane foam. Continue injection slowly until you see the product coming out the port right above, like this. Now, this can take from a minute to several minutes. Be patient. Now, remove the gun from this lowest port and put the port cap on. This keeps the material from coming right back out, which would be a bummer. Then move the gun up to the next port and do it again, right up the wall, just like this. Here's the key to a successful repair. Take it slow. Use slow, low pressure injection so that the crack gets filled completely. Now after we've injected all of our foam, if it comes out here in the wall, it's perfectly fine. That means we've done our job right. Uh, the foam is expanding and coming out. This is a perfect example of a blowout. Nothing to worry about, we just didn't put enough surface seal down. Okay, here's the fun part. The crack injection foam has cured, so now we can remove all of these ports. I'm using a putty knife and scraping the surface seal adhesive off, right along with the ports, right off the wall. This leaves the crack completely injected. Sealed up for good. And the wall ready to paint. Well, that's it. You've just seen my basement project. Our, our basement project. <laughs> so, uh, what basement project are we gonna do next? Whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs>